Good morning. Galen stole my thunder and my applause because my first line was, welcome to our church on the 181st anniversary of its founding. I would, I would love to be able to talk with the 37 people who started our Universalist church in 1843. It was very, very brave of them to start a, a faith that was so different than all of the other Protestant and Catholic faiths that would have been here at that time. Uh, so now we're going to jump to 2009 when I joined the church. It was the first time that I had attended church since 1966 when my parents said I didn't have to go anymore. So it was a pretty big deal. I came into the church for the first time on a Sunday morning, like all of you probably did, and I sat way in the back because I thought, I'm going to run. I know I'm going to run, and I don't want to make a fuss about it. But our minister, our, who was then our minister, Michael Brown, started with his introductory remar remarks, just like Reverend Jennifer did, about how we were all welcome and we wouldn't be judged for our beliefs. That love was the underpinning of the church. And by then, I was crying, and I was ready to join but I knew that that would appear rash and I didn't want to be looked at as such a silly person. So I wanted to know more about the UU faith. And the church said yes and offered a course, a six-week course on Thursday nights to explain the faith and the history of our church. So that was a wonderful yes. When I asked to sign the book, the church said yes and welcomed me. I wanted to meet people in the church, but I'm a real introvert, and so that was a big problem for me. So the church said yes to my wish to meet people and allowed me to join a covenant circle. And a covenant circle, if you don't know, is a wonderful way to make friends in the church. Being in the covenant circle allowed me to deepen my faith and to make friends. My new friends introduced me to their friends, and pretty soon I felt like I belonged. In the following years, I retired and had more time to be involved in church life. I have joined many committees and another covenant circle. Each experience has deepened my appreciation and love for the church and for the people in it. If you want to feel more a part of our church, ask the church if you can join a committee or a covenant circle or a religious education class or sign up to help with coffee hour. Give the church a chance to say yes to your participation in another way besides attending Sunday services. Another way to deepen your connection to the church is to make a monetary pledge. It will make you feel that the church is partially yours. Pledges allow the church to have a budget and decide what to fund, what to fund sorry, that uh, goes with our values. And the church will definitely say yes to your pledge. Thank you if, I've, if you've already made your pledge. And if you haven't, please make it today.